subway and I get a call from the first uh, assistant director <laughs> saying, hey, uh, we're going to bring you back to set now for your second scene. Uh, did, did you leave? Where, 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 where are you at? And I was like, oh, no, just in the bathroom. And so then I sprinted off the subway. If I had gotten caught on that subway, I might have been an hour late. But I was able to get back, get they in the air like and make up. No, no, I learned a, I learned the lesson uh, with, with pretty uh, few consequences. But that could have been bad. Um, so I did that and then went back to school um, at the University of Michigan for my senior year. And then two months into my senior year, I was... Uh, pulled out to do the NBC show, The Village, mm -hmm. did that through the end of t spring 2019, and then did a Quibi show, which was the streaming platform that most of you probably have never heard about. It didn't it didn't uh, have too long of a go, but I was in a show with Queen Latifah and ah. um, a few other um, bigger Hollywood names. And now since then, I've been working on The Gilded Age. So four, four shows with a musical theater degree, um, and I'm... 24 now so it's it's been it's been a pretty steady steady run oh and then uh the chilling adventures of sabrina on ah. netflix uh which was probably my biggest thing to date um and uh learned a lot and it's been a nice slow drip if it was any faster i think i'd be too big of a of a jerk this is actually really helpful because i've never watched a show that you've been on ever <laughs> yeah, she actually has people ask me and i'm like have you seen have you seen your brother in HD with a British <laughs> accent? Like it's it's so uncomfortable. It's I'm like that's not him. Like it's a, what are you? He has fans. Like this is so weird. So weird. I uh, I uh, seem to remember that your mother and your aunt brought you in here when you were still in high school, and then there was an ongoing discussion. You had chosen Michigan, but yes, time. yes. And there was some discussion uh, as far as your mother was concerned about actually moving to Michigan because she, she couldn't let go of her baby. <laughs> but I take it she didn't what? move to Michigan or Iowa State, right? No, we held her back. We we kept, <laughs> we kept her in Fort Dodge. Not to say she didn't show up from time to time. Oh, well, of course. Or, she's your mother. Hey, your mother's a good She's the best. Yeah, oh yeah, she's. Well, unfortunately for you, you could bring your laundry home. I had to do it all on my own. Oh, I've also been doing my laundry since I was fourteen. Ben, <laughs> Ben learned when he got to Ann Arbor. <laughs> so you, uh, you uh, graduated just this past Saturday. Yes. With a degree in nutrition or diet. Uh, Dietetics. Di is and, and that is. Um. So it's just the study of nutrition and the study of healthy lifestyle, and that. Yeah. So. So where does a person with your sort of educational background work in a hospital? Or? Um, that's yeah. There's an option to work in hospitals. There are options in school food service. What I've been I've been working with Iowa State football for the last year. So there's sports dietitians for almost every sports team. So that's I suppose. it's been really interesting. Absolutely something I'm looking to pursue. But well, those guys see. are those guys on the football team are big guys. They are <laughs> and they, require a lot of food. <laughs> yes, they do. I they mean, do. what type of food uh, is their primary energy source or protein source? I mean, so obviously their everybody's primary energy source is going to be carbs. So we try to try to get them their carbs, try to get them their bread, pasta and vegetables and everything like that. Protein on the, on the big guys. Now that that gets them fat. Doesn't it? <laughs> I mean, all that bread and pasta. And stuff. I mean, I love it. Yeah, no. Yeah, absolutely. People people tend to think that but with the amount of energy they're putting out every day with their lifts and their practices okay, they can huh? absolutely afford to be eaten like that and, okay and they're pretty they're pretty good about whatever is provided to them they're mm -hmm. they're good kids so yeah lots of lots of chicken lots of steak lots of whatever we can find they'll eat so no, I'm, yeah <laughs> do you ever watch those old videos do you ever watch those old videos of like charles woodson playing at michigan oh, running over those small defensive backs and now you take a look at some of the play like what players look like now I mean, it's it's it it looks like we're 40, 50. I mean, I guess we are now, but the the distinction between even like the nineteen nineties and now, everyone's oh. bigger, everyone's faster. I don't know how anybody competes anymore. It's also like. a very humbling experience because I'm always, I think I've always thought I was a little taller, a little a little stronger than I was as <laughs> as a person. But then you get around these guys, and it's like, oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> Oh yeah, you're looking straight up, and you still can't really six, hear them. Six, so. Guys that can run, uh, who are <laughs> six seven, six eight, and three hundred pounds, and they can run fifty yards in four point nine. Yeah. yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Well, and they're tw they're twenty years old. It's like these yeah. they're still kids. Like yeah. <laughs> this is crazy. Yeah. It's been it's been great though, and great culture over there. Great great experience. So yeah. Well, co college football, you can really tell it uh, from uh, the NFL is. Uh, 
college football, these guys run into each other at top speed, you know, mm-hmm. and they bounce up like nothing, you know. <laughs> the older NFL players get hit, and they just, well, I'm going to lay here for a while. <laughs> I'm just going to be cool for a minute, and then I'll get up. But they do. It's crazy. You know, yeah, but, yeah, they're thermonuclear nuclear at the college level. It's just uh, train wreck every play. Every play. Every play. Every play. And it's, uh, it's amazing uh, that the quarterbacks can stand that pounding. Oh my you know, God. yeah, Aaron Rodgers looks like an ordinary guy to me. You know? Yeah, Tom uh, Brady looks younger now than he did when he was drafted. You should uh, Google you, Katie. Should Google Tom Brady's diet. I I have actually heard about that a little bit. Oh, I've heard because we've had people come in and be like, "I want to do the Tom Brady diet." Mm. I'm like, well, I don't know if you <laughs> you do, but I yeah, think he's true. selling it right. He has yeah. his own. He has his own company that's uh, called TB12 wow. or something like that. But you have to be able to afford his diet. Right. Uh, you know, I don't think most of the things that Tom Brady uh, tells us to, or the Tom Brady diet offers, we couldn't get in Fort Dodge. I don't know if we could get it. I feel like it's mainly just salmon and avocados and vegetables, A right? lot of that sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, well, there's there's some sort of jelly that he eats is even exotic and blueberries and all kinds of acai stuff. probably oh, okay. yeah. acai, and then yeah. you throw in all like the hyperbaric chambers and all of the supplements well, and, and that's the, the thing recovery. it's oh this is the this is the tom brady diet and it's like okay but what what else is in conjunction with that because it's not just what you're eating when you make that kind of money so it's like i'm still kind of a cheeseburger and fries guy oh me am too I, am i okay with that or <laughs> Everything in moderation, you know. Everything if you want moderation. a cheeseburger and fries, you get a cheeseburger and fries. Yeah, that right. doesn't mean never eat vegetables, but eat the cheeseburger and fries. Vegetables, I do sweat every now and then. I do, I do have a hard time with vegetables every now and then because I think corn's a vegetable. But it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's a good butter delivery device. It's, it really minimum. is. Well, yeah. Well, well, my dad sat me down one time. He's like, "Katie, I want you to help me with my diet." I was like, "Great, I'd love to. Let's let's sit down and do this." He's like, "Okay, but here's the thing." I don't eat vegetables. <laughs> I don't eat anything that's green, and I will eat ice cream every day. And I said, "Okay, well, I'll see what I can do with that." We'll I got to, I got to meet this guy sometime. Oh, he's yeah, a gem. He's a, he's a gem. He's a he sounds one. like somebody I'd immediately relate to. <laughs> he's yeah, a funny guy. Yeah, help me with my diet, except I'm not going to change. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. That's, you know, really, I appreciate how straightforward he is with it because half the time you talk to these people, and that's what you end up getting yeah. a week later. <laughs> but, yeah, sure. I think a lot of people though neglect the uh the the benefit of sleep and lack oh, of absolutely, stress absolutely. i mean again that's a privilege that tom brady has because you can just pay a, a staff to handle all of your problems but if you can get eight hours drink enough water go, sure. you know water that's the big thing is people aren't drinking water i don't like water what do you mean you don't like water mm-hmm. what does that even as, mean as i drink my <laughs> my venti uh starbucks cold brew <laughs> with no water in it well and there's yeah. some water somewhere in there yeah. it's bean water really if you think about it no no that's right you know i <laughs> i do drink a lot of water i drink my little diet pepsi cans for two about three or four of them a day but uh I, I do drink a lot of water. And I'll tell you what, I, uh, I, I can't seem, I'm like your dad as far as what I eat a lot of times, except for the ice cream. I, I had the diabetes cure for the ice cream. But, uh, but I, uh, uh, my longtime girlfriend, yes, a man my age still has a girlfriend. My longtime girlfriend uh, said, you're getting too fat. Um, uh, why don't you just try eating half portions? I mean, she didn't put it in those words. <laughs> I was like, wow. Not, you know, she, direct. She, no, no. Well, she's direct, but not, you know, I made that sound like she was insulting me. She really wasn't. But but I might I might have been grumping about uh, my weight, and she said, just eat half portions. So I did that and lost 30 pounds. Then I took the COVID diet and lost 40 more. <laughs> more people should try that. What? I've heard. I've heard it's pretty Well, I couldn't effective. eat. I, I couldn't smell yeah. anything. I couldn't taste anything. You know, yeah. and, and, and so I just didn't eat. Yeah. You know? So yeah, that, that did it for me, but I wouldn't recommend the COVID diet. Yeah, the not, no. I, I never tested positive, but I lost my smell for eight months. So I'm just going to assume that that I'm, you must, have I must've had it. Yeah. But the same thing happened to me. It's like nothing smells good. So I don't And when you can't smell, you can't taste as well. So it's right. like, well, I guess I'll just have a salad. So but. where do you, where do you, and I know you're just out of college just a week and not mm-hmm. even that, but uh, where do you, uh, where do you hope that you go to work at? Um, I'm hoping to stay in football. We'll see. I'm um, right. still kind of putting around aim. So there's a chance maybe I'll get to work with Iowa State, which would be super cool, especially with the season they probably have coming up. So okay. that would be exciting. But honestly, I'm just kind of trying to keep my options open. There's so many things I could try. A lot of states to move to, a lot of <laughs> places to go, you know. 
Yeah. Maybe I'll go out to New York and yeah. couch surf for a while with Ben. Hey, but I <laughs> know that's, that, that's, a, that's I, important. I mean, I wandered around when I yeah. was a younger person. I got to get something out of this kid. Yeah. Because... <laughs> well, that's what I'm trying to do. I want her to get the, all the football stuff out of her system so then she can just be my live in chef and I don't have to worry about it anymore. Now, there's an I don't think he could afford me in that <laughs> sense, but we'll see. What's next for you, Ben? So we're going to finish up, uh, you know, the Gilded Age in June. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if they've announced a release date. Um, it'll probably be at the, near the beginning or at some point in 2022. Mm -hmm. and, uh, fingers crossed. And then back to the unemployment grind. That's what's so crazy about this is that, you know, think of any actor. If they if they don't have a have a job lined up, they're they're literally unemployed. Fortunately, for